Hello everyone, Victor with you here from the forexbot.com. Today we are having the idea on the Australian versus United States dollar. So the setup is also quite interesting. It's a trend following setup. So before we start, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is just for educational purpose only should not be considered as a financial advice. Okay, let's get quickly run through previous ideas. Swiss franc Japanese yen. We had a hard stop loss above this level, although price failed to close above on the daily chart. But yet we are out of this trade. It's it could consolidate. It could go to the upside. So we are out because there was a spike one. There was a spike a third third one. The recent one. So uh, for now consolidation might continue or price even can go up. Now. Australian versus New Zealand dollar. We have a stop loss at the break even, and we already fixed half of the profit at this bottom. So it's a zero zero risk trade. And I actually would suggest actually to exit Australian versus New Zealand dollar since we are having Australian versus dollar to the upside. Now the New Zealand Swiss franc. I do expect this continuation of this uh, upswing. So stop losses below. You can see that. Uh, when when we had this rejection of the moving averages on the 15 minute time frame, if I zoom that, okay, here we had this rejection. Now the price failed to break below, so this is a valid idea for the mid term, and still I would expect New Zealand Swiss franc to continue moving up. Now the stop losses can be placed slightly lower as previously discussed here. So this idea is still valid in the medium term, expecting this rally to continue. Moving on to the US oil. The US oil stop loss at break even would have been triggered. So we are out of this trade and we will see what happens. Maybe we'll have a new one for the sell opportunity, but for now we are out. Now. Pound versus Japanese yen. This was the idea of the yesterday. What has happened, guys? On the four close, price actually went above the moving averages. So if you have entered, the hard stop loss would have been above this price, but the entry point uh, was around current price. So here is a slightly in profit. I would be exiting this trade because of this break and close above. Uh, so yeah, th this is most likely uh, will go up, I think so, because of this price action. So we will have to see. At the same time, you can see that the support here hasn't been broken. This is also can result in consolidation. Overall, if you if you decide to keep the trade stop loss above this height, this is the maximum, but I would be out of this trade for now. Now, this is the new trade we're having. It's uh, Australian versus dollar. This is the short term trade. I would expect the, the, the target to be reached within 48 hours. So the, the, the idea here is to look for the buying opportunity. We can see this triangle pattern. Price clearly broke above. It's very similar to what we have actually at the New Zealand Swiss franc. You can see that price broke above, consolidated and went up. We have very similar scenario. Price broke above, consolidated, and started to produce higher highs, higher lows. Now here I have applied two FIPS. The most important one is obviously on the rejection of the triangle, the last rejection point of rejection, and this this shows us the potential upside target. What I think is the best target is 0.6762 price, although the best entry would be lower. I would need to see price returning back to this resistance at 0.6635. This is the ideal entry point uh, for, for buying. So let's move the arrow like that. And if price will correct to this level, I think the opportunity will be quite good. Now, in regards to the stop loss, the stop loss, let's see. To me, two to one risk reward ratio would be slightly below this level. I, I would think approximately 60, 
6580 uh, approximately so just two to one if you decide to buy so the opportunity is a short term i don't think it will last long it's a clear uptrend obviously because price remains above both moving averages if we move to one hour chart we had bounce clean bounce of the uh, exponential moving average right at this stage right there then price produced yet uh, quite a big jump here and yet again today we had another higher high which is also very bullish for the australian dollar so yeah this is a short-term opportunity i think it will be reached on monday tuesday latest so very short term we will not be given long-term opportunities where you, you have to wait for weeks so rather we'll focus on the on the medium to short term so for the two three days hopefully for the target to be reached okay guys don't forget to take half of the profit on the half of the move uh, we will use this practice because it's very useful when price goes half the way towards the profit move stop loss to the break even and fix half of the profit always good idea to secure your profit as we did with multiple trades we had previously all right that's all for today i wish you a great weekend and we'll speak to you just in uh, several days on monday as usual take care guys and profits to everyone